Hello, this is uh, Raymond Johnstone checking in. Yeah, most of you already know that. I'm here with two other people just on sound, and um, I'd like to introduce Dan Berger, who is the owner of uh, Three Points of Contact. It is a blog, a travel blog specifically. So if you'd like to check that out, obviously feel free to at www.threepointsofcontact.com. Dot .ca, uh, dot .ca, my mistake. Uh, no problem. <laughs> and I'm also here with an artist from a local band called Tangerine Inc. His name is Tyler Fitzpatrick, and he is the lead guitarist with Tangerine Inc. Hello. So I just have some quick questions for you guys, and obviously I'm going to answer this myself as well, but uh, Tyler, if... Um, you don't mind getting started off. My question is, how do you feel collaboration plays in your day-to-day -day life? Well, collaboration plays a huge part in, well, everybody's day-to-day -day life, mostly at work. I mean, most people work, well, not just mostly at work, but that's the first thing that comes to mind, I mean. I mean, most people work with other people. I know both of you guys have a team of people you work with, and you're always collaborating. I'm sure you're always collaborating with them. Um, even for me, when I work by myself at the bookstore, it's often somebody will come in with information that they require, and I go and I help them. And I mean, essentially, that's well, what it is. is we're help people are helping each other, and it just kind of enriches everyone's day-to-day -day life. Excellent. Uh, Excellent. Yeah. And do you feel that plays a role in your in your band endeavors as well, like in your musical endeavors as well? Oh, yeah. Hugely so. Hugely. I mean, it's, it's not... Our band is not... It's not a dictatorship. Like, everyone has a say. Everyone talks. We all come to an agreement together. We all throw other ideas at each other, and I mean... Sometimes we criticize, but that's okay. It's all for all to a good end. I mean, we're all trying to help each other out. We all, we're all in it together, collaborating to try and succeed. Try Constructive and criticism is a form of collaboration. So absolutely, I think that yeah. powerful form of collaboration. I think. Yeah, I fully agree yeah. with that statement. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So you would definitely say then that collaboration plays a big part in your day-to-day -day life. Absolutely. I mean, almost any interaction with another human being is, well, not any interaction, but uh, many interactions are a form of collaboration. Absolutely. And I mean, it's, life would be, uh, without those little collaborations, <laughs> life would darn be as exciting or fulfill fulfilling. Absolutely. Excellent. And Dan, um, just just the same question really to you there. Uh, how, how do you feel collaboration plays in your day-to-day -day life? Well, my, my day job, uh, much like Tyler, kind of allows me to kind of help people and connect them with what they're looking for. But in, in the uh, context of my, uh, my, my website and, and that whole online social media endeavor, I realize uh, as, as a traveler, as a semi-professional traveler, if you want to call me that, um, that collaboration is more of a necessity than anything, especially uh, as a traveler with a disability. Um, even when I met Tyler initially, we, we, he helped me out, we, got it, we explored the city together, and so it's less of a kind of a pro professional collaboration, but it's more of a, you know, the man helped me out. The man helped me find my way around, and uh, we're, we're good buddies now. So, collaboration kind of can expand into friendship and, and beyond. So it's it, it goes beyond just a, a simple, you know, business uh, aspect. Of course, absolutely. So, like, so f for sure, in your in your travels, you've experienced that collaboration is is like. Uh, very essential and and obviously as you, as you were mentioning you do some social media as well and likely you don't have all the information already right in terms no of exactly social media. Like so for my my other side projects I have to you know work work with
with a, a team of, um, in, in one case, a group of programmers and um, engineers and uh, an author, and they, they might not necessarily have the interpersonal skills that I might have that I can bring that to the table for them, but I don't, I can't do the programming or the engineering or whatever they're doing, so that's, it. but the, the group effort, team, teamwork makes the dream work, pretty much. Absolutely. <laughs> that's the old thing I used to tell people when I was training them at my store, but you know, it, it sounds, sounds kind of cliche, but it's true. Uh, you Leave it to Dan to make it sound cheesy. Well, you know. <laughs> cheesiness gets hacked up too much, you know. Like we, oh, no. Tyler, you know, he's absolutely right, though. Yeah, yeah, and I've, I've said absolutely that. Right, yeah. yeah, yeah, I've said that a couple times to you, right, Tyler? This man would oh, yeah. rather be cheesy and <laughs> and and successful <laughs> than <laughs> the coolest guy in town. Yeah, there you, you go. Know? <laughs> and you know what? I know I'm already the coolest guy around, so hey, it works. Exactly, <laughs> and if you can put the two in tandem, then it's even better. Exactly. <laughs> there we go. Problem solved. Yeah. All right. Um, so, okay, I guess I have to just kind of field this question to myself. And, um, well, like, I, I wear a, a number of different hats, but I don't think any one of those hats, personally, I would be able to um, wear at all if it wasn't for collaboration. I, I work at an um, IT shop, um, and I work very closely with uh, the the owner of the IT shop as well, and we we tend to collaborate on on solutions to to even like some of the simplest problems. Like we, we tend to collaborate on things that would be seen as simple, anyways, just to come up with um, you know maybe maybe quicker solutions or, or or more logical solutions or easier to explain solutions. Any number of different reasons we collaborate within my workspace. But on top of that, I also work within a development team um, on a project called MetaMaps. And that's literally, we're, we're developing a website essentially that's, that's app-driven. App and I, if it wasn't for co collaboration, I wouldn't even be involved in that. It's a group of uh, probably upwards of 15 different people all across the planet that are involved in development of MetaMaps. So, you know, obviously, I <laughs> none of us would be able to work together. First of all, if it wasn't for for technology, but second of all, if it wasn't for collaboration and being able to do so, right? Uh, absolutely. Yeah. So it definitely plays a big role in my life, um, and even even at home, I find collaboration is pretty essential. Like I've I've taken to like. Um, just kind of touching base with my roommate every once in a while because uh, you know we've got pretty busy schedules and don't always see each other so every once in a while I just kind of touch base with them and I'm like okay what's working for you and, and what's not working for you and those things that aren't working for you how do you think we can go about improving them right and that's right on. in my mind that's what collaboration is about and oh, yeah. just on the the what I'd like to kind of end on is this is this is somewhat of just to let you gentlemen know as well that this is somewhat of a, a pretty large break breakthrough for me um, in terms of the RaymondJohnstone.com project that I've been working on for about the last five months now. This will be the first time that I have had uh, a collaborative session actually hosted on the blog that claims to be. A, a collaborative community, right? So, this is well, really this is actually, happy to be part of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is this is a very historical moment in time for RaymondJaston.com. <laughs> so, absolutely. Um, yeah. If um, so, I, I guess at this point, if either Dan or uh, you, Tyler, would would have any closing closing words or anything like that, then. Yeah, no, I, th I think it's uh, a, a great, great thing that you're doing, a great project that, uh, you're, you're, well, we're collaborating, like I said, we're bringing it together and kind of a meeting of three maybe like minds, but also quite different minds in, in certain respects. So it's, it's kind of interesting to see where those three different minds come together and, as we've said a couple times, collaborate. <laughs> Absolutely. We've all had... Um, fair share of different interesting experiences like I know we've all had kind of different
different upbringings. Like, so there's always different things that we can learn from each other, right? Especially even if we are of similar mindsets, we all have very different pasts and very very different experiences. So that's always something that we can learn from each other, you know. I agree. Absolutely. And also very different futures, but yeah, it's 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 important to work together when we can and and learn with every chance that you get. Yeah, I couldn't have said it said it better myself. <laughs> Whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. So this is Tyler, uh, Dan, and Raymond signing off from RaymondJohnstone.com. Have yourself a lo- yourselves a lovely evening, gentlemen. Cheers. Thank you. You as well. Bye. All right. Good night. Bye, Cassie.